Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Lance. We are Deco Disc. We are the Deco Disc guys. Deco Disc guys. We're here to show you how to install your Deco Disc on your bicycle. We want you to look cool like we do when we go down the road. Even though I'm old. And I'm sort of old. We look good going down the road with our new Deco Discs. Better at least. But, Better. But the discs look great. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, call us. Or you can always send us a meet, uh, a, an email at a Gmail. Email, a email. <laughs> Deco disc, <laughs> Deco discs at gmail.com. Or call. Or call. Maybe that's better. Well, thank you. Let's go install. Let's get these bad boys on the bikes before it gets dark. <laughs> Hello. Let's take a look at these Deco discs. You may or may not have two different styles depending on which bicycle you have. I want to show you the difference of what we call the taper or the cone shape of the disc. As you can see, this one's fairly flat. Let's take a coin and you can see it does not go under the edge. Now let's look at another disc. This one has more taper and it easily slides under with lots of room to spare. That will be the difference in the two deco discs. Okay, let me explain a little more about the disc on this particular bike. This bike has a single speed chain with a coaster brake. On this setup, your discs will probably all four be the same, so you don't need to worry about which one goes where. Okay, with this bike we have a three speed coaster brake, single chain, single sprocket. With this setup, we've used four of the same discs, all the same. So if you have a bike like this, chances are all the discs are the same. No need to matter which one goes where. Okay, this bike has the derailleur system with many sprockets. We have the pincher brake. This one in particular uses the flatter disc. The flatter one fits better on this side and this side only. The other three discs for the bike will be the more taper and they all fit the same. Okay, here we've got one of these newfangled fat tires. They're getting very popular. And it depends when you order, this particular wheel combination with this brake is much like a derailleur system. Here we would need the flatter disc. It fits better, we've got room for the brake. If you don't know what you're gonna need, ask before ordering or call us with questions. Okay, let's get started. First we wanna check a couple of things. We wanna make sure the screw's long enough to go through the deco disc in your wheel. We use a couple of towels rolled up here just to make it easier to set things on. You've got the graphic on one side of your deco disc, the white on the other. Let's lay this one with the white up. Next, we take our wheel, place it over the disc, and as you can see, I've got the cutout here for the valve stem and the valve stem centered in the cutout. Now we'll grab our other disc, lay it on top. Okay, now you're gonna have uh, some hardware that's included in your kit. We've got a screw here and ahead of time I've put the washer on. We're gonna place this screw and washer up through the bottom just to make sure, and there is a, there's my dog here. Sorry about that, everybody. Let's go ahead and place the screw up through the bottom. You want to see about a quarter inch to 10 millimeters of thread sticking through. Okay, let's take a second and uh, look at these fat rimmed or fat tired bikes that are getting popular. Here we've got one set up, as you can see. The same thing, we want to check our screw length on these. Now you're going to have longer screws provided if you ordered uh, deco discs for the fat tires. Let's go ahead and we've got the washer on the screw like before. Let's go ahead and bring this up from the bottom. Put our top deco disc on there. Now. If by chance your threads are too long and the screw's just too long and you're not comfortable with that, you're afraid it will slop around, go ahead and place your washer on when you assemble. We've got our washer. Next, you're going to have a regular nut in your kit. Now this one is white, but yours will be black provided in the kit. That's going to go on first to take up some of the room or slack. You want to tighten it up, not too tight, because we don't want to put a lot of pressure on the disc. Then, after you've got that assembled, you've got the acorn nut that's going to go on there last. That's it. Okay, now let's put on the tape that's going to cushion it against the spokes. 
This is the method I like to use. Of course, we've got our decorative side down, white side up. Let's go ahead now and lay the wheel on again like we did before. We're going to place the wheel again. Now it's important that the valve stem is centered, centered within the valve stem cutout. And what I like to do is we need to remember that this disc on the bottom here, it always is on the same side of that wheel so that we don't mix up the disc on this side. Most bikes it won't matter, but let's just be safe. I take a piece of tape, place it on this side of the tire, and then I make just a little inconspicuous mark with a pencil on the disc right here. Now what we wanna do is use our pencil and we're gonna mark each spoke that is down against the plastic here. We want to mark the spoke that's nearest to the mounting holes. We've got the mounting holes. I believe there's seven around this disc. Let's go ahead and mark that spoke and it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to mark this spoke here near the rim. I'd say this spoke is close. We'll mark that one. Let's mark this one here and here and so on. What we're going to do is we're going to mark that and next let's go ahead and place our tape around the edge. Okay, before we can place our foam tape, we need to actually cut it. You're going to have strips of foam tape that come in your kit. Now you want to be careful and not cut it too long because you only have so much in the kit. Of course, there's seven marks we made, so there's seven per disc. That'll be 14 per wheel, 28 for the total bike. So we're going to go ahead and just take some scissors and cut this foam tape here. I say approximately one inch or 25 millimeters. Let's cut a few of these out like this. Okay, now it's time to place the tape. As you can see, we've got our tape here. Let's remember which side of the wheel is which. We'll just set the wheel down here like this. Let's take the foam tape here. You've got to peel off the backing to expose the adhesive. And you want to place it centered over the marks you made with your pencil. Near the edge of the disc, but not too much overhanging so that it looks silly when you're going down the road. This particular one here has one that's very close to this cutout, so I'm gonna place it right on the edge, like so. So go ahead and place all the foam tapes centered on all the marks you made with your pencil. Okay, it looks like now we've got our tape placed along this uh, deco disc here. We're ready to set the wheel back on. Remember, this is the one we have the little mark. We're gonna lay the wheel back on, like so. We've got our tape on this side. Center that valve stem with the cutout. And what you're looking for is that those spokes lay on that foam tape. We don't want the tape on top of the spokes. We want it underneath the spokes. What it does is it protects the plastic against the spoke and it will make things quieter and smoother when you're rolling down the road. Now, to double check, or to move on rather, this is the combination for that one. Now, we're gonna do the same to the other wheels or other discs that you've got for your bike. But remember, when you turn things over and do the other side, for my method, you're gonna turn the tire over. We have no tape, no mark. We're gonna leave it like that. Go ahead and put the tape around your other wheels and we'll move on. Okay, a quick note about your reflector. Some bicycles, you may have to remove the reflectors. As you can see, this style has a bump that sticks out and it may not let the deco disc lay flat against the spokes. So this style, it looks like we just take this fastener here with a screwdriver, unlock it, slide it up, push the reflector out, remove the insert. If you have a style like this that looks to me like it screws onto the spokes, you can go ahead and remove that one. We're going to be supplying a piece of reflective tape in the kit. That way you've got a reflector on the disc. Okay, next we're gonna talk about, we've got two screws that are gonna come up from the bottom right here and we're gonna wrap zip ties around these, around the spokes to keep the disc from losing orientation so that your valve stem doesn't walk away and hide behind the cutout. As you can see, I've got this screw, a black washer, and a special little clip plastic washer that's gonna snap over these screws to hold them in place for the next step. Let me show you how this works. We're going to put the screw through the washer. 
it's going to come up from the bottom and without this they'll just fall right back out so we're going to clip this little plastic washer here you'll hear it snap down now it holds the screw for the next step okay now that we've got these two screws at the bottom here they're put on the, through the bottom with the washer on the other side they've got the little plastic clips holding them in place so they don't fall through next we lay our wheel back on center the valve stem in the cutout the reason for these screws and keepers there is so that we can put the zip tie around this spoke now we want the zip tie around the outer spokes not the inner ones or you may see them from the inside which would look kind of silly so we're going to put the zip tie around the outside and kind of around the screw as it sticks up there you're going to tighten it up just a little bit but we don't want to have it so tight that it's going to actually pull that screw over the idea is just to have a loop and the loop goes around the screw okay we did this side over here as you can see it's not tight at all it would lift right off the screw that's okay all we're doing is having it hold around the spoke and around the screw same with this side let's tighten it up just a little more not so much it's going to pull the screw sideways just enough to hold that there we'll clip that off now they're ready for the disc to go on the other side which will then hold everything still to those spokes okay now that we've got these ready to go we're ready to put the other half on here's the other half of the deco disc we've got the tape in place we're ready to lay this on the top like so line up the cutout with the valve stem those screws that we've pre-assembled now we'll poke through the bottom now it looks like we're ready to start fastening the nuts okay one quick note about this hardware that we're using we've got a nylon screw and a nylon acorn nut as you can see there's no hole on the other side so this screw is going to go into this nut and it's going to stop at the bottom we want to bottom these out the idea is that these are going to be tight and stop prematurely so that they don't put pressure on the disc but we do want to make sure that they're in all the way so that they don't fall out i'm going to take this wrench here and hold the nut in place while i count how many cycles it takes to bottom it out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten approximately ten cycles and i can feel that that is now reached bottom we don't want to go too tight to break the thing in half but you'll feel it bottom out we want to make sure that that screw is all the way in the bottom of that nut okay now we're going to put the nut and the washer on here as you can see we've got a little acorn nut and the black washer now you're going to go through push the screw up lay the black washer on the top and then we're going to take this acorn nut now you're going to notice it's a little tight but that's by design what we want is we want to have friction there so that these don't come loose and fall off automatically that's supposed to be a little tight all we're doing right now is just getting it started and we're going to next go through and go around the disc and then last we're going to take a screwdriver to hold the other side while we tighten them up for good okay now that we have all of the nuts in place finger tight we're ready to tighten them up for good make sure that you've put the washers underneath all the acorn nuts the nuts are designed for a 3 8 wrench or you can use an adjustable wrench or a simple set of pliers works fine too as for the other side we've got a phillips you can use a number one or a number two phillips screwdriver let's go ahead turn this around i'm going to take the opened end wrench hold the nut in place what i'm doing is i'm not going to turn the nut rather just hold the nut in place while i take my screwdriver and tighten it in by turning the screw the way those nuts are designed is you're going to feel it stop at the bottom you're going to feel it get tight not too tight as you can see I've, I've tightened it up but actually we can still freely turn the screw and nut combination we don't want these tight because we don't want to put a lot of pressure on the plastic just enough to hold them in place okay now that we've tightened up all the hardware we are finished with this wheel now don't forget to do your other wheel most important also check another video that we have that's going to show how to remove the wheel from the bicycle and as a bonus we're going to also talk about how to repair a flat tire thank you
Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Lance. We are Deco Disc. We're the Deco Disc guys. We're here to show you how to install your bikes with the the discs on the bicycle. The disc on the bicycle. So you look cool like we do. A lot cooler than me. Yeah. This Let's is go. about the 100th take. So pay attention to this installation the installation video. Thank you. Let's get started, Nate. <laughs> we better. Let's go. Okay. 